Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, let's discuss about blanket order in Odo 50. A blanket order is a purchase order which a customer places with its supplier to allow multiple delivery dates over a period of time with predetermined pricing. So we can create uh, this blanket order, that is this purchase agreement from purchase module. So first we have to enable the option to create purchase agreements. So from configuration settings, you can see that option purchase agreements. So we can manage uh, two types of agreements. That is we can either create call for tender or blanket order. So call for tenders is used to send uh, that is request for quotations to multiple vendors for a given set of products. So we'll discuss about call for tender in a separate video. Now let's see how this blanket order works. So when you enable this directly from here, from the settings, you can uh, go to agreement types and you can configure them, or you can come under configuration where you can find the menu purchase agreement types. Odo has configured uh, two agreements, call for tender and blanket order. So here we have our blanket order already configured. You can view the agreement type name is given as blanket order. And we have a field agreement selection type. So we have two options. One is select only one RFQ. Then second one is select multiple RFQ. That is non-exclusive. So it is set as second option because uh, in the case of blanket order, we can send multiple requests for quotations to a vendor, that is to a supplier. So by sending multiple requests for quotations to a particular vendor, bulk amounts of products are purchased in a specific period of time. So this type of agreement is only created with a single vendor. So it is an agreement type for long-term transaction. Then here you can set data for new quotations like uh, the lines that is you can either use lines of agreement that is product lines added inside your agreement for your quotation or you can manually create uh, rfq lines that is here the second option do not create rfq lines automatically we have to add uh, details manually inside your quotation it will not be taken from the agreement so for uh, that is in the case of blanket order, the first option is set. Then comes the quantities. So as I said before, in the case of blanket order, products are purchased by sending multiple RFQs uh, to a single vendor. So um, here I'm setting the second option that is set quantities manually so that we can set quantities manually inside your quotation without using quantities of agreement. So after configuring the purchase agreement type here, when you come under orders, you can find menu purchase agreements. So you can create a new agreement. Here we can set a purchase representative and can choose an agreement type. So I'm choosing it as, uh, setting it as blanket order. And here we can choose a vendor. We can set an agreement deadline. So discounts and offers can also be included inside the agreement, purchase agreement, since they are for regular customers. You can set ordering date, delivery date. And here you can see operation type is set as receipts. You can view the company name. And here you can see uh, option to set currency. So if you have enabled uh, multi-currency, then you can choose a different currency, set a different currency for your agreement. No. Let's add products. So I'm adding five quantity of armchair. 
then here we have to set the unit price. Now let's add a different product. And set the vendor price. So I have added five quantities of armchair and one quantity of bed. And you can also add terms and conditions inside the agreement. And after that, you can save the agreement and you can see this draft state, you can confirm it. So it is moved to ongoing. And here you can see a tab added request for quotations or audit. So currently we have created zero orders. So we can click on new quotation to send quotation to vendor. So here you can see it is, as it is blanket order. We can send request for quotation only to Azure India. And you can see inside the quotations, uh, details are taken from the agreement, like vendor name, then currency, order deadline, and product lines and all. Then here you can provide vendor reference. Then you can see the purchase agreement. Then you can set the payment term. So let me send the request for quotation by setting two quantities of armchair. So you can manually Change the quantity inside the quotation. Now let's save this. And you can send this quotation as email uh, to the vendor. You can see the uh, request for quotation is sent to the vendor. And in the same way, you can create multiple quotation. Again, I'm adding two quantities of armchair and one quantity of bed. Let me send this again to the vendor. So you can see two RFQs are sent to Azure India. And here you can View the details. In the first quotation, we have added two quantities of armchair. And in the second quotation, we have added two quantities of armchair and one quantity of bed. Now, the remo remaining products to be uh, ordered is one quantity of armchair. So let me confirm this quotation. You can see it is converted to purchase order. In the same way, we can receive products from vendor. Then here we can confirm the second quotation. And receive products. So here, when you check the purchase agreement, you can see uh, the quantities set inside the agreement and the ordered quantities. So four quantities of armchair is ordered, one quantity of bed is ordered. Again, you can create a new quotation and set products and confirm the order. You can see agreement is moved to close date. So that's all about purchase agreement blanket order. And if you have any doubts related to this video, please don't hesitate to comment below.
and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get latest updates.